Hey everybody. Um, well, doing good. I'm making my uh, walk into Slida. I'm still on trail. Still have like eight miles, I think, before I see my wife. And I'm uh, going to take a day off. Really excited about that. So um, enjoy some some good food and, and uh, some time with my wife. Um, it is July 15th, about 8:45, and I'm walking through this little gulch here. I mean, this is this is just beautiful. Um, they've been doing a lot of work on the trail. I'm gonna take you back just a little bit. I want to show you a couple of peaks I'll be going through later on in the trip. I'm thinking one might be San Louis, but I'm not positive. But yeah, they've been doing some really nice work here. Yeah, there's a two big peaks back there. I don't know if you can. I don't know if you could see them, but really beautiful. Really beautiful. So everything's doing great. And uh, had an interesting night last night. I put in 23 miles, 23 and some change yesterday, and. Uh, Pretty tuckered out when I got to my camp. My camp is 10 mile mark at Sand Creek. And uh, there's a designated camping spot there. So I set up camp, got water, uh, ate my dinner, and went to bed. Man, my legs were hurting from the long hike and it took me forever fall asleep but I finally did then at five o'clock in the morning I, I sleep in a hammock so at five with a bug net so at five o'clock in the morning I noticed I was falling out of my hammock and I was pretty much laying on the bug net and next thing I know the bug net gives way and I fall through it and uh, well, everything falls through. I mean, my ground pad, I always use the ground pad in the hammock to, for an insulating factor. And anyways, I, the ground pad went, then I went. I'm in my sleeping bag. And I landed perfectly on the ground on the ground pad, and so I just went back to sleep for another hour and a half. Uh, so, I'm glad that happened today and not like Sunday after my Salida stay so um, thought I'd share that funny little story probably end up just ripping the uh, bug net out it has come in handy because there's been some times where the mosquitoes were just horrible um, but yeah it's not useful now so I'll probably just rip it out and just use the hammock for the last half of this trip. But walking through an aspen grove. I love these. These are these are big aspens here. I love walking through these. These are it's just beautiful, shady. You can see the view. It doesn't show up as well on camera. Um, I think everybody knows that pictures and video doesn't do beautiful things justice, such as, you know, out here in the Rocky Mountains. But so anyways, um, everything's going great. I want to go ahead and do this video. And... Uh, I'm hoping to be at the trailhead by 11, and my wife's going to pick me up, and uh, so anyways, till the next video, hope everybody's uh, doing great, and happy trails, bye.